today we'll talk about linked list constructor so our linked list class starts out like this public class linked list the constructor will going to start out like this but before we jump into creating the constructor let's first see what is one thing that is common among all the other methods in the linked list like append prepend insert the constructor has something in common with all these three methods they all get passed a value right so let's first look at what each of these method do at a high level in addition to create a new linked list at the time you create it this will create a new node method 1 the append method will also create a new node and then add a node at the end prepend method also create a new node and add a new node and add a node at the beginning theek hai so basically all these methods are what they are doing they are creating some kind of a node right and insert method let like the last one is also going to create a node and then insert the node at a particular index so okay so the other thing all four of the methods do is to so what one thing that all these four method is doing is they are creating a new node so we don't want to write the code of creating new node four times four different times right so that is why we need to create a constructor now let's create a node how to create a node let's suppose the class name is node okay so whenever any of the four method need to create a node it will call the this class this node class so let's look at what we are creating when we create a node so how if you remember from my previous lecture what is a node node has a value and so before jumping forward i have an announcement for job seekers and those who want to upgrade their skills guys physics wala has celebrated 3 year of physics wala on 27th of may as its foundation day so i have already told you like they are they are coming out with the offerings and mega launches jo ki 27 se 2nd june tak tha lekin they have extended their, extended their offer till 5th of june okay because they have received immense love from the students so they are extending it so what physics wala is bringing up for you guys super affordable tech courses in hindi and english by industry veterans veterans and mentors from top companies like google facebook linkedin paypal physics wala skill lab what which will eliminate the need of a high specification hardware and saves the learning ex additional expenses of buying new laptop worth 90k to 2 lakh 1 lakh you know and it will also provide you internship with life project candidate get real time experience later while building up end to end project following in uh, real industry de uh, you know development protocol and pipeline one on one live doubt session for 12 hours doubt session supports for 6 days 6 days a week career assistance for one on one resume support more interview career guidance and yes job portal the exclusive job portal you can find the job offers so physics wala will provide all these features for just 3000 but if you use the coupon code tl500 you will get 500 rupees discount so the batches the batches which has already started by physics wala in the last month and this month is full stack web development data science master java with dsa and system design the cost is 3000 and this batches are running for 9 months with four projects so if you are interested in opting any of the courses from physics wala then link is pinned in the description go ahead and check it out the upcoming batches and a index a pointer to the next node that's what a node called so it it looks something like this and also internally it looks something like this right so one called value and the other called the next so we have two variable good now value will be an integer type for this example let's take value is an integer type which will hold the value but the next next will be of a type node right why node you remember from my previous lecture that every next is pointing to a node so that's why the next is of a type node and then we'll have a constructor so those who don't know what is constructor in java i have already uploaded a video on java constructor you can go ahead and check it out or i will attach the same video at the end or i'll provide you the link in the description wherever whatever it is possible you can check it out now you know how to create a constructor 
the only thing the constructor is going to do is this it is going to pass the value we are passing the node value now what is this we will we'll pass this dot value this value is something different when we set the value equal to the value matlab ki whatever we are whatever in this constructor we are passing the value this is a value of a node the new node and we are setting it to the class value matlab jo humne we have, we have created the int value right so we are setting it up now that we have our class for creating a node we can build our linked list now let's jump into our first method of creation of a linked list now create a public class linked list and we are going to have three class variable so whenever we are creating a linked list a node then what are the variables we have we have a head we have a tail and which means that they can point to a node the head and tail will be pointed to a node so they will be of a type node right so the type of head and tail is what i said node because they are pointing to a node and that will keep track of the length okay now the first thing we are going to, to do is to create a node we'll do uh, that with this line of a code here and we'll pass this value this a value and this create a node so let's talk a little more about this line of a code on this side of the equal sign we have the new keyword which runs the constructor for the new for the node class the new keyword runs the constructor constructor and actually creates the node down here on the other side of the equal sign and we have a variable called new node that is of the type node which means it can point to a node and by setting this equal we are pointing that variable new node at the node that we have just created so the next thing we will do is we'll say that the head is equal to new node why did, why did we do that the head is pointing to my first node if this is the first node in the in the linked list then the head will also point to the new node okay now what about tail so if we have only one node then tail will also point to the new node okay so uh, the other thing we are going to keep track of the length and because we started this with one item the length or length will be one now let's look at with the rest of the code okay this is all of our linked list class so far with our class variable had tail length and our constructor this is the class of constructor and we are calling this constructor over here and we would create a linked list by doing something like this when we have a variable my linked list uh, this is of type linked list and which means it is a point it is pointed to a linked list on this side um, is where we actually create a linked list the new keyword runs the constructor up here and we will run the line of a code we get all of this and we get a new linked list with a node with a value for the head and tail point to that node and it has a length of 1 got it so that's how this this is very simple right was that complex complex complicated no right matlab if you have something in mind that how to create a linked list okay how to create a linked list if you know how the linked list looks like then it is very easier to un to to write the implementation of a linked list so this was our first lecture of a creation of a new new node in a linked list now in the coming lecture we'll be seeing like how we can append prepend insert at the end whatever insert in between matlab of linked list so we'll slowly cover all the method and implementation of linked list so stay tuned guys